welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jocelyn. If you love to talk about fragrance and perfume, you've come to the right place and I hope you consider subscribing. I also hope you consider following me on TikTok and Instagram where I also talk about perfume but slightly different content. Today I'm super excited to be bringing you a haul. This is an Italian niche house that I recently discovered called Lerbolario. I believe that's how it's pronounced. So I, I can't remember what rabbit hole I was going down when I found <laughs> I found this. I go down these perfume rabbit holes pretty regularly. And so I was down a rabbit hole. When I say that, I mean, I'm online shopping. <laughs> I'm looking on Fragrantica. I'm just, I don't know what I'm in search of. I'm in search of more perfumes. So I happened across this house and I noticed that they have some really interesting sounding fragrances. So I looked to see if they're available in the US and they are. So the company um, is called Herbarium and they're located in Florida. And I believe they have one in San Diego as well. I think they have two locations in Florida, one in San Diego. And so I made an order and I just got it today and I'm so excited. This is, it seems like it's gonna be extremely promising. When the package came, I did smell them today. Um, and my first impressions were really good. So I wanna share what I got and I will do um, deeper thoughts on these fragrances a little bit down the line. But I wanted to share this free calendar they sent. It's just stunning. Um, I love this calendar. So, um, their free shipping threshold is pretty high. It's $150. So I did spend that much <laughs> to get free shipping. Otherwise they have a flat rate of $10 for shipping. This is of course not sponsored. They don't know who I am, but this calendar is so beautiful. So I'm very excited to have this. Um, I also got some, and also it only came in it was less than a week, so it was pretty pretty fast shipping. And I got this little packet of samples. So it's mostly in Italian. This is some kind of lotion. This is a shea butter lotion. Uh, I don't know Italian, so <laughs> this is some kind of hand cream. They do have some English on here. Um, this one is a uh, resting cream for feet and legs, and then a shampoo with olive oil maybe. So I got five pretty decent samples here, which is always nice. So I ordered three travel sprays and two 50 ml bottles of perfume. The first one is called, and this is kind of, they're um, marketed as cruelty free. And they also have, um, they market as pretty natural ingredients. So um, this is called Absinthian. It says it's got notes of lemon, coriander, artemisia, cardamom, and cedar wood. And so this is a pretty, good size travel spray. I think it's 15 ml. So it looks like this. And I sprayed it earlier and I was actually pretty impressed. And they all strike me as very gender neutral. So, and they have good sprayers. So this actually reminds me of like a barber shop fragrance and it's really beautiful. So this one, I might actually give this to my husband because it's very barber shoppy smelling really delicious. Um, this just kind of makes you like, say my husband was wearing this, this would just want to make me get closer. This is like really kind of really beautiful. Love it. The next one is called, well, I'm going to, I'm going to do it in English and not try and, um, practice Italian, which I would surely botch. So this is, and it's English on the side, vanilla and ginger perfume, another 15 mil. I just thought vanilla and ginger sounds really gorgeous. So really nice sprayers. Mm. And it's not like, it's not gourmand. So it's a, it's a really unique, you definitely get the ginger a little bit. It reminds me of the ginger in Twilly, but this is different because it's got vanilla versus the florals in Twilly. So it's, you, it feels like you get a lot more ginger in this. Like Twilly, you definitely get a ginger burst, but because this has the vanilla, it's really interesting and beautiful. So let's see if I can find the notes on this one. Notes of lemon, ginger, vetiver, benzoin, and bourbon vanilla. And it's really beautiful. Gender neutral, totally. Not very sweet. This is not like a sweet vanilla. This travel spray I got is rhubarb. I just love a good rhubarb. If it's done right, it can be so beautiful. I've always kind of wanted that Hermes one, but I've heard the lasting power is really bad. So I don't know if it's worth it. And this is so refreshing and beautiful. Mm. 
So it looks like that. It's a slightly smaller one. This might be a 10 mil because it seems smaller than the other ones. And this has the double sole of bittersweet rhubarb blended with notes of the perfume for men and women. Oh, notes of lemon, rhubarb, saffron, black tea, and musk. Hmm. So this is really gorgeous. And I almost wish I would have gotten a bigger bottle, but um, I could see like layering that with one of the auras, like Aura Eau de Parfum or Eau de Toilette. Beautiful. The bigger bottles I got, this one is called Fresca Essenza. And they have such beautiful packaging. So um, this one comes in this interesting green bottle. Notes of petty grain, bigarade, which I think is bitter orange, lime leaves, may rose, absolute, pink pepper, iris, and cedar wood. So I think this is a beautiful freshy. Mm. And it's so, so beautiful. It's like this gorgeous citrus. It's just a stunning bright citrus and it's, it's really fabulous. Of course, I can't comment on the longevity. It smells like it's gonna have good longevity, but I can't really, I can't really say that, but it's because it's very strong. It's very beautiful. So that was Fresca Essenza. The last one is called, I'm not sure how to pronounce this, Mejares, Mejares. And this one is, looks like this. Eternal sense awakened by the warm breath of wind that has blown through the fiery emptiness of the desert. Hmm. I will put the notes on the screen. This is just a beautiful kind of ambery musk. Um, it's, oh, it's beautiful. It's, um, I'm not, it seems like it's got some warm spices and amber musk, maybe some wood. It's fabulous and very gender neutral. I think all of these are just right in the middle for uh, gender neutrality. And this is stunning. And I am so excited to wear this on the skin. I am just really excited by all of these. I think they all are really interesting and unique. And I love the aesthetic. I just think that the artwork is beautiful. I love this kind of artwork. Um, like the rhubarb box. It's like, I hate to throw that away, but I will. Um, so anyway, again, this is Lerbolario and it's available at Her Herbarium um, in the U.S. And um, very good first impressions. I'm really looking forward to putting these to the test because my first impressions is they are stunning and I love that they're cruelty free. They're pretty affordable. So um, I forgot to talk about the prices. The travel sprays were 25 each. And then the um, 1.7 ounces or 50 mils were $45 each. So, so the bigger bottles were 45 and then the travel sprays were 25 each. So, you know, pretty reasonable, um, fairly similar to designer prices, I guess. Um, or some of the more affordable niche brands. But um, those are my first impressions and my haul of this fabulous Italian brand. Do you know anything about this house? I would love to hear your thoughts on this down in the comments. Have you tried any of these? Have you tried anything from this house? They have a huge line and a huge selection, a wide variety of interesting sounding things on their website. So Lord knows I don't need more, but it's very tempting to place additional orders, but I will hold off and I will be um, talking about these more in future videos after I give them a wear test and give them a more thorough try. So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and feel free to give it a thumbs down if you didn't, and I'll see you again very soon. Thanks.